Greetings and welcome to this segment of uh, Impressionism 101 as uh, Strokes of My Imagination. Um, today I am going to uh, let loose my imagination of George Floyd. Again, for those not familiar with uh, Impressionism, uh, this was a movement, perhaps uh, the most imperative movement in the history of contemporary painting. Um, this was uh, around the 1860s when a group of uh, young artists painted their subject and object based on their thoughts and reflections and feelings, you know, rather than a prevalent pursuit for a realistic interpretation of their motifs. Uh, this era was when masters like uh, Claude Monet, uh, Kumail uh, Posaro, uh, Paul Cezanne, uh, Edgar Dugas, and uh, a whole lot of others excelled. Uh, but today, in a piece titled um, Strokes of Judge Floyd, I'm going to use some digital impressionistic strokes to render my imagination of this subject. Uh, by the way, uh, Judge Floyd, it may be recalled, was arrested for trying to pass um, a potentially a counterfeit bill. Uh, also, we remember how uh, a cell phone video showed uh, this white uh, police officer uh, kneeling on uh, Floyd's neck and uh, ignoring multiple pleas from onlookers uh, that his life was in danger. We also heard uh, George cried repeatedly, I can't breathe. This was exactly how Floyd died on the scene, painfully uh, in the most uh, brutal, uh, insensitive and barbaric lynching tactic. And truly, you know, when I close my eyes, When I close my eyes on this subject, as a spirit of the Impressionist world, I could see through George Floyd, uh, a portrait of innocence, hope and determination rendered in some broad strokes on that intense color coordination. Uh, I could see uh, a helpless dude struggling to breathe beneath a killer knee and this was the very moment that inspired my, insp my impressionistic domino, leaving me with no option than to turn to my canvas uh, for a spiritual relief. Look, I could go all day, you know, but this painting will reflect my mind through very tough digital strokes of impressionistic actions. So let's get to business, my friend, let's get to business. What I'm doing now is creating background 
for my portrait. Usually, uh, I start from very light colors and then progress to uh, darker hues. So just watch. Now these darker areas in the middle indicate uh, a silhouette background of my subject matter. Um, uh, I will, at some point, I'll start developing my image from that area. And look, uh, if you ask me what I'm doing, the answer will be that I do not know. The crazy spirit in me guides this action. Just watch.
So right now I'm using those lines and strokes to define uh, my subject. Um, you could see the progress. I am uh, just trying to uh, uh, render some finishing touches, uh, trying to define some specific features. So uh, just bear with me.
Sometimes, uh, sometimes I have to introduce those colors to create some kind of harmony. Um, just like I said, uh, I don't have any idea of uh, how these colors are distributed. I'm a spirit. Uh, they're all in my head and I can just see my hands moving, you know, dropping the strokes and, you know, creating some balance and creating some harmony in between colors and in between fissures. Just watch. Also, uh, I try to create some kind of uh, mystic smiles on George's uh, face because most of his existing portraits reveal uh, stereotypically uh, anger and hardship. Uh, this uh, portrait uh, is different. Uh, it is uh, very, very different. Uh, a contrast from the existing ones. Now you can see the mystic smiles. So that is it. That's it. I'm done. I'm done. And this is a composition of my imagination of the subject matter, broad strokes of George Floyd, uh, extracted from my thoughts and feelings of the event that took this man to a final slip. Uh, consequently, uh, this um, historical event, as you know, is currently uh, creating uh, the much needed legislative actions to transform policing in America. So you may take a look at the finished piece and tell me exactly what you think. But for now, my friends, uh, thank you for your time and uh, have a wonderful day.